the spiritual warfare is you not allowing your mind to drift into places where you feel vulnerable. The secret is that the mind, once taken over, begins to control the body. It is what that person believes and what the will then converts that belief to. See, I was taught during the time that I was doing the work in that particular field that if you make a big deal out of something that's natural, then it becomes something that you end up, that ends up controlling you. Like if you got to go over to the, to the refrigerator and get yourself a glass of water and you drink the water down, all right, and you and all of a sudden your thirst went away. Is that a big deal for you to, you know, say, oh my God, yes, my thirst went away. Well, when you're doing magic, and when you're dealing with uh, higher spiritual principles, these should not be something that overly fascinates. Because once you've done that, then it becomes something separate from you. And you don't know that because once it becomes something separate from you, you can't really control it. So spiritual work and people who have high empathic and sensitivity and higher sensitivity and, and in touchness, so to speak, that should be something that's natural, like breathing. And it shouldn't be something that, and, and something that actually at that level tells you what it needs to do or you need to do. Because we then look for outside sources to, to give us relevance and to give us symmetry to an inner experience. Some people may tell you what it is you need to do because they've had similar type experience, but nobody has your experience spiritually. They may have a uh, the interpretation of it differently, but nobody really has the same experience as you. And the uniqueness is what makes us who we are. And that the uniqueness and its interface with other uniquenesses, so to speak, that's what makes us who we are. That's the chain. That's the link. That's the empathic nexus that, that, that joins us together. But again, you, you should not make too much of a big deal over something that is spiritually natural. Because then it becomes something separate from you. It becomes something that you seek. It almost becomes like a drug that you look for. And then everything in your mind is about that. 